Hello everybody, my name is Eleanor and you don't probably know me. I want to start by saying that I am not an English speaker, I am from Czech Republic, so my accent really isn't that good. I hope it will be manageable. I want to start by saying that, that this video is from year 2022, so it's an older video and there will be a lot more videos that are not uh, from a current time, but they will be like two years old or one year old or then a couple months old. Because I have a Czech speaking channel where you can find the exact same videos, but they are in Czech language. But I wanted to do an English speaking channel and it took me quite some time to make myself to do it because as you can know I am not from an English speaking country. And, you know, I always thought that many people won't be able to listen to that but I hope it will be okay. So you will see mostly paintings in my videos but uh, from these times I also used to write in my diary a lot and do like all the bullet journal pages so I hope it will be enjoyable too. I do mostly oil paintings and I used to draw a lot so I think you will also see like drawing and stuff. Now I'm mostly just doing painting and some like just quick sketches for the paintings. So in this video you will see me drawing this like huge painting of a face and an eye. So it was a commission, that's why it's like a like weird composition. The man just said to me that he want a face of a woman or girl and the eye next to it. So I didn't want to question it from my artist perspective. It's like somehow weird. I I don't think I would do like something like that just from my head. I also was really productive about this age. It is a video from 2021 and I think it was the time where the COVID hit the most so we were at home, I didn't go to school, which uh, in this video I was still at high school in a grammar school. I also have a bunny named Betty. Uh, Betty is a boy. But we didn't know that when we uh, bring her home, so uh, so we just assumed that uh, it will be probably a girl. And then we, when we went to a doctor, he said that it's a boy. But I still think it's okay that uh, she has a name, <laughs> or he has a name that is like a girly name. Right now I am doing another pages in my diary. I did a lot of like uh, astrology stuff or like uh, dream stuff. I used to write a lot of my dreams that I had. I'm still trying to do that uh, these times, but it's really hard <laughs> because I don't have that much time and I just can't make myself to uh, come back to it and do it. And even though I have a lot of dreams and I have a lot of weird dreams, so I I plan to like do uh, some illustration to my dreams because I think it would be really interesting. But it's uh, like a really big project. I would need to write down the dreams first and then somehow to like do illustration for all of the dreams. So that's one of my future plans. Maybe sometime in the future I will do it, but it's like a really far away future.
Also, don't be alarmed that I'm cutting the paper from some book. It was like a, some old Russian book about uh, mathematics and it was already really torn apart. I don't think there was any chance to save that book, so don't worry. I don't just go and turn apart some book that is uh, fully new or something like that. It was a really old book that was already really damaged. So this is a painting of Eva Green in Penny Dreadful. You will see me drawing her a lot. And also this is Aurora. I love to listen to Aurora. I went to her concert. I think it was actually in this year, 2021. So it was really nice. Like, I don't know. She's so like out of this world. Anybody who listens to Aurora, if you have the chance, go to her concert. It's a really beautiful memory that I have and even though I don't go to a concert that much, I still have been to some concerts and I think like Aurora was definitely one of the best ones. Also, I love Joker, the newest Joker, so I also draw him a lot because I just love the colors in that movie. I just knew that I need to draw him because it's so nice from the art perspective. You know, I don't really understand movies and all that stuff, but I think I still can say when the movie has really nice colors. And again, Penny Dreadful. If you haven't seen Penny Dreadful and you like the dark, scary stuff, it doesn't have to be scary, but like dark, mystical, witch monster stuff, Penny Dreadful is like really made for you. And I rather said that it isn't that famous because it's like a really beautiful TV show. I think I could even say that I show it to most of my friends. They never heard of it, didn't know it, and all of them love it. There wasn't any one from my friends that said they don't like it, so I would give it a chance. I also want to mention that uh, in this specific video, and I think it will be in another video too, I mostly paint like people from movie industry, music industry and so on, which I don't do nowadays. So I don't do it because, you know, you can't really use your imaginations and I'm a person who lives in her head. so. I love to make stuff, imagine stuff, make paintings from just my imagination. So if you like more like uh, fairy stuff, uh, elf stuff, witches stuff, stick around and in the future there will be a lot of lot of paintings that are this top, this theme. If you still aren't sure if you want to stick around, you can uh, look on my Instagram where I have all my paintings and because this is quite a old video so my style changed a lot 
so don't worry. <laughs> Yes, you see it right. It's not the Vanessa Ives picture. <laughs> like, in 2021, I was like obsessed with it. And I think I've seen it like for seven times, the whole three series TV show. Do you know what I used to do? I used to watch the TV show for like at least twice a year. And I'm not even kidding. <laughs> another tv show yeah it was a tv show hannibal if you've seen it it's not the i don't know i think there are another hannibal movies and uh, this is the tv series i think if you have seen it you already uh, recognized it or at least i hope so that's uh, another one of my favorite tv shows And we are at the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope my pronunciation and voice was uh, okay and manageable. And I will see you hopefully in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.